Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the status report highlight for the 10th of January 2017. I'm a little bit late with this one of course, as some of you know I did move house recently. I still have many things to unpack and decorate and to do, but between painting the windows and carpeting the ceilings, it's time to get back on track with DayZ. And in this status report Brian would like to present major goals for 2017, and Peter talks about reasons why the game is more hardcore than before. It's our first status report of the year, and as we've had team members trickling back in through the first week of the year, it might be a bit of a dry one. But let's take a look at our major goals going forward, as well as what has occurred so far in 2017. As work on 0.62 and beta milestones move forward, internal teams have continued in our goal to address the remaining issues in 0.61, and hopefully introduce vehicles to Stable Branch. Over the last few weeks the team has been cycling issues through Experimental and onto Stable directed at. Known server crashes, adjustments to infected behavior, adjustments to hypothermia damage, fixes for vehicle and tent lifetime, fixes for invisible body parts, vehicles and experimental falling through the terrain, fireplaces not being able to be placed in stoves. In addition to these adjustments cycling through the experimental unstable branch, the development team is tracking and working to address a number of additional issues. Void volume proximity drop-off, vehicle client-side performance, server-side performance drops, causing issues such as player position desync, delayed actions, etc. Server-side memory consumption, additional known server crashes, infected spawning behavior issues, continued polish and work on addressing remaining issues with vehicles. As mentioned, this is in addition to the ongoing work for both 0.62 and beta milestones. Once we get internal builds in a stage we are confident to start showing examples of both visuals and client-side performance for 0.62, we'll start sharing that. All of us here on the dev team are excited about this, as the small team of artists and support programmer begin to start preparation for branching for this milestone. Hicks knows this status report is chock full of cool and amazing things, but our first goal as we kick back into the groove for the new year are squarely focused on addressing the critical 0.61 issues you've all been experiencing, and pushing forward into 0.62 and beta. Now let's check out what lead designer Peter had to say this week. One major issue raised by the community, which is still discussed back and forth, was the noticeable increase in difficulty of the PvE challenge in the game. Peter wanted to comment on this. Recently we took advantage of the new dynamic spawning system and because of that, concentration of infected is much higher than ever before, and Peter hopes there will be even more of them in the future, with the possibility of hordes when everything goes well. Now, when we finally achieved some reasonable numbers of infected in locations for intended gameplay purposes, it is unthinkable that they will just stand there, ignoring you while filling up empty space in settlements like scenery. It seems some don't remember how harsh infected were in the mod back in the days, when crawling on your belly for long minutes to observe a town to choose an entry point, with the least resistance, wasn't anything special. Don't forget that infected are meant to be a real threat to survival in Chernerus. You either need to avoid them, or fight them, or eventually flee if you're lucky. There are some known issues in AI which need to be fixed, and Peter understands that it may be hard to have a stealth approach with old habits that came from nearly non-existent infected in the past, and without the planned presence indicator combined with how much noise you make and how well you are visible, in the upcoming HUD you can try to follow some general rules which may help you. Stay low, keep distance and avoid their line of sight. Yes, they have peripheral vision too. As far as close combat goes, it will be overhauled once the new player is ready, and we already started to prototype it in the meantime. Of course reported issues like infected running through seemingly closed doors, or spawning right next to you, are unacceptable and will be fixed. If you'd like to read more about the design of infected, check out the status report highlight for the 3rd of March 2015. Links to that will be in the description below. Also, rain and ensuing low body temperatures become a factor to consider in the fight for survival, which again is nothing unexpected, and you shouldn't be afraid of it, just adapt to it. When all the systems like metabolism, diseases, injuries, stamina, weather impact, infected, predators and others will fall in place and become fine balanced, you will witness a definitive survival game, where you need to be careful, have to plan ahead and get prepared for the possible upcoming situations, because after all, this is Daisy. And there you have it for this week's status report highlight for the 10th of January 2017. The latest status report will be with us in the next few days, so I'll get on highlighting that as soon as possible. Let me know in the comments what you're most looking forward to with the future of DayZ. Personally, I can't wait for 0.62's visual fidelity overhaul. Since seeing the screenshots of the reworked wooded areas, my mouth has been moist for some ghillie suit hide and shoot action. All links will be in the description below. As always, read the status reports in full for yourselves for the most amount of information that they hold. Leave a like and subscribe if you're feeling frisky, and I'll see you peeps 
next time.